one. In a way, with the black safe, he sort of gets half a free shot at the pink. The only thing in his favour is he's a left-hander, and the pink is the correct side of the table for him. Yeah, it's a massive difference, actually. Four. So the critical Six. brown to blue to leave himself an easy drop in behind the pink. So he's got to get straight on the blue, straight ish on the blue, but not too much angle. No. That would be the easy way. If he doesn't 30. play to move the pink, he'd like. Well, I've got the other white. He'd like to be there, just off the cushion, not dead straight. But it depends on the angle. He can either do that or he'll play to move the pink. Now, can he get into that spot? It's coming round. Needs to keep going. Needs to keep going. Eight. Oh, he finished just a little too straight. No, no, and he's got it safe. It's gone safe. Hey, Ross, what happened 18. there? It seemed like the pink went into the cushion immediately, as if he he got some side spin on. <laughs> Mike Williams is getting down as if he's going to go across the table and pop the pink off the side cushion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Only Mark Williams can laugh in a situation like this. <laughs> now, what happened here? I don't know. He just. He's straight into the cushion. He's going to play the double kiss. Safety. No, not, no, not a re-rack. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Williams is getting the ball back for a re-rack. Well, it's a big advantage in one respect you know, that, that Neil Robertson only needs the pink. But that means that Mark Williams really doesn't necessarily want to do much it, how on earth is Neil Robertson going to force Mark Williams to do anything other than play containing safety yep. Neil Robertson would like to to force Mark Williams to <laughs> I very rarely you see a situation like this I mean it just keeps double kissing uh, I think Neil Robertson has got to, to to try and force the issue here by perhaps playing off the jaw of the pocket and push the pink along the top cushion. Mark Williams is happy for the draw here. Mark Williams will actually be happy with the re-rack, bizarrely. Now, you've got to be careful you don't leave it touching because if you leave it touching, your opponent can just run away up the table. Nerves of Steve. <laughs> well, we'll see from this shot now whether Mark Williams is happy with a re rack or whether he wants to go for the win. Yeah, there's no such thing as a fresh air shot at snooker. It's not like golf. He's trying to push it along. The, it's a tough shot to hit that firm enough. He wants to push the pink along the top cushion, but he's settling for the containing shot. I don't think it's going to end in a re rack. But Neil Robertson doesn't want to lose the tactical initiative either, so. But it is a massive advantage having that black ball safe. A very unusual situation indeed, this. Oh, I don't like this. It's very easy to play a foul stroke here. Clumsily struck, to be honest. I think Neil Robertson's got a, a free chance at this pink. He's got to keep his eye on the cue ball as well, though. If he gets a little bit of side, it can go near the middle pocket. 
Can't see it going in the corner, but he's a devastating potter. Mark Williams gets away with it. Might play the shot that most players play on the black now. If it's a, a respotted black, they just play the, in this case, it would be the pink onto the left side cushion, the white onto the right side cushion. That seems to be the shot that's played these days. And he's playing the pink on the other side. Now, what has he played here? Goodness gracious me, I've never seen. What has he done here? If he gets away with this, he'd be very lucky. Mm. I've seen a couple of mad shots in this frame. This is tough if you don't know if you can even pot it. But Mark Williams, I don't know what he was playing on the pink there, but me, Robertson, in the end. Yet one more frame, Robertson is through and the world champion is out of this year's Masters. Well, John, we had it all there. <laughs> I mean, honestly, Where do you start? I mean, the first red that Neil Robertson's taken on in this frame is absolute carnage. I mean, what is this? I mean, he's he just got yourself in front. He's absolutely butchered it and smashed the balls everywhere. I mean, I, I'm all for aggression and going for shots. But I mean, that was if you're going to be aggressive, go for the one in the right corner for the black. Yeah. That was just uh, I don't know what happened there, especially when you're so close. But then, you know, I mean, it's almost like as if we need a carnage klaxon number two. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do not know what Mark Williams has played. I have no idea what he's it's played here. Completely mishit this. He's trying, he's trying to play the pink up, but he's, uh, he's mishit that so badly. He's just trying to put the pink up the other end of the table and leave the white on, on the black cushion. But as, to be fair to Neil Robertson, that is great pink. No, that's a proper pink. pink. That's, a, that's a shot of the match. Yeah. He's not a match winning pink, do you think, John? Well, uh, not yet, because you've got to get to six, obviously, yeah, but yeah. I tell you what, that's, it's a long way towards it. Mm. Yeah. That was a brilliant pot. A brilliant pot. I mean, these are really tricky. Yeah, if the pink was tight in the cushion, it would make this so much easier. The fact it's away Look from the cushion six. needs, you know, good positive cue in through the ball. Uh, great shot. Sensational. Given where Neil was at the mid-session mm. interval, this has been some comeback, hasn't it? Yep, it's, uh, you know, we go back to that brown that Mark Williams missed yeah. to go 4-1 up. Um, you know, Dennis said at the time, you know, turning points in matches, well, it has been. 